Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips, South Alabama Home Inspections, and welcome to another edition of the, this Ice Maker filter kit. Uh, this is actually the second filter I'm installing within a week's time. Uh, somehow or another, I got on this filter path. Uh, I already installed one uh, a few days ago. Let's see if I can zoom in or to it. And I already did an episode on that if you want to see that. Uh, that's a whole house filter there. And so you know, that does filter the entire house, but I figured I would uh, put the secondary filter in here uh, to service the ice maker and the kitchen sink only. And that's why I have it drop down like that to, so I can bypass uh, the main service line above that because that also services other service points. And I don't want to filter all those. I just want to filter the ice maker and the kitchen sink. And so this will do it. I had to modify this. I had to go to Ace Hardware and get some brass fittings uh, there to to get this to uh, go up and down to where I needed to go. Had to uh, upsize to half inch uh, to connect to PEX, going to the kitchen sinks and sink, and then downsize to quarter inch uh, over here for the uh, ice maker line here, which is quarter inch. And I also took some pipe strap and put it above the floor. Probably could have just laid right here on the floor. That would have been good enough. And so it does come with this 3 8 uh, inch uh, flexible line and that it does come with that and also comes with the fittings that protrude out of the uh, canister itself. Now I had to replace the top one there so I could put that T in. Really this thing you know comes really just to service one service point uh, but it's going to do fine just doing the kitchen sink and the ice maker and this is supposed to be really good too. It's got a really good rating and I actually kind of sort of believe these ratings because of the length of time uh, this has been out and also it's got very good reviews as well and you know the main thing is is when you uh, do any of these plumbing projects is to take your time don't get in any hurry uh, plan all your parts out before you start doing it uh, that way you're not running back and forth to the store and if you wonder why you know plumbers make as much as they do uh, this is the reason it's really aggravating to do this no matter what the plumbing project is i used to be a plumber and i haven't found really any easy job in plumbing but you know this one went fairly smooth and i took my time like i said and these parts up there uh, for these brass fittings are actually kind of pricey it's about 30 bucks you know just for that right there now i'm going to use uh, teflon tape uh, on these uh, fittings here because i don't want to use the paste or pipe thread paste like i've used on in my other episodes because uh, i just don't want this to get into the ice maker in uh, the water service part of the uh, potable water. Uh, I don't have any problem with it being in the you know, toilet side and the shower side, that sort of thing. But I am going to use Teflon tape on this and already have. So basically I'm just going to be coming out of this here with a half inch male barb fitting and then 90 over and, and connect up to this PEX, which is going to the kitchen sink. And so I may go ahead and do a follow up video to this, you know, in the future to kind of sort of let you know how this how this works out uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on the paperwork so you can sort of see you know what that looks like you can pause it as well you know if you want to focus in and read it now uh, this may be more beneficial than what I'm telling you that's a male barb fitting there for PEX Like I say, you can pause this video if you need to stay on any part of this. All right, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this. I also recommend that you put a an isolation valve there. I recommend that, recommend that for any service point. Uh, so you can turn the water off to this, you know, if you need to, because you're going to have to eventually to replace this filter. I think this thing lasts about five years. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and take care. Okay, a little bit of an update here. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I've got this run. Now, like I say, you're more than likely you're just going to be going to one service point, uh, but you, you never know. If you decide you want to do the sink and your ice maker, this is how to do it. Uh, but the main point of this part of the video is to show you what I did here. I had a little bit of left, uh, a little bit of line left over from the ice maker, 
And so what I did is I went and connected this. Now you need to use a plastic ferrule instead of a brass one if you're running uh, plastic pipe. And so this is what this water is going to look like. It's a charcoal color, which to be expected. Uh, that was in the directions and it said that you would see some of that. And they recommend that you flush this for about five minutes and that will eventually clear up. Now, I went ahead and purged it down here as well to get the air out of this filter. And I'm going to purge it again upstairs, both with the ice maker side and also the line that goes up to the sink. I'm going to purge those lines as well to, uh, to also get the air out of them. And then once I connect it up to the sink, I'll probably let it run another five minutes there. And so I figured I'd follow it up with this. Uh, I was really lucky, no leaks. I mean, usually... I don't get this lucky. I always have a leak somewhere, especially when I have this many fittings uh, going on. And that's the rule in plumbing that I was taught when I went to plumbing school. Uh, the number one rule in plumbing is to run a pipe with as few fittings as possible. Well, you know, I wasn't able to do that here, so there's quite a few of them that's connected. But fortunately, I uh, didn't have any leaks. And so I'm going to take that as a win-win. And like I say, just, you know... Uh, stay tuned to this channel. I I'll, I'll probably will do some updates with this as well. And also, please subscribe to this channel, too. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much dedicated to all the household issues we have here in the Deep South, you know, but that also applies to many other areas in the United States as well. And so sometimes I do the follow-ups to these on the Facebook page, Southern Home Talk. Uh, but I greatly appreciate you watching. And if you have any comments or if there's anything I might be able to answer, you know, put them in the comment section. I'll see if I can help you with that. And also, too, if you have anything that you suggest, I'd like to hear that as well. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and take care.